What's up you guys? This is day three of the $1,000 challenge. Day three is all about optimizing your content production process because this process can get really, really stressful if you're planning on producing content every week. Whereas if you have something like a content calendar, it gives you a step ahead of knowing what content you can actually batch create and what content will need a little bit more time when it comes to creating it. If you have not seen day one and two, please do go check those videos out. I will make sure to actually include those links in the description without wasting any more time as per usual let us get right into it so like i've mentioned content calendars are really really helpful i've recently started implementing this i do not know why i did not start with this very long ago but you know what i did not have to be honest i did not have like a very strict content calendar but i did kind of project into maybe the month as to what it is that i wanted to talk about i like to put my content to write things down i'm still old school like that i feel like there's just so many things that we do digitally so i'd rather write and draw things out for now so for this content calendar i planned that on monday this is what i'm shooting because i do plan what i'm going to shoot when i'm going to edit the things and when am i supposed to be posting it i will also show you on my notion i do have if i'm doing this particular long form what short form am i going to create for this long form content you know because then i'd have like a whole process that i've created for myself that will help me in creating content more efficiently so having a content calendar is so so helpful because it gives you an idea of what can be produced by batch shooting it and what needs a little bit more time when it comes to creating the long form content number two I've already mentioned batch creating. Now that you have your content calendar, you are able to see what type of content can you batch shoot. So for instance, with me, if I want to do design content, which I am going to do on this platform, something like um, creating short form videos of websites that are helpful for creators then that i can say i'm going to produce six videos of six different websites that i can then best shoot and then release those as shorts but let's say there's a long form video where i'm designing maybe like a light fixture diy light fixture and then from my um my content creation process template that I've just shown you, I can then select that, okay, this is the short form. These are the three short form videos that I have to best shoot. And from there on, I at least have an idea of what content I'm producing for the rest of the month. It will be much more beneficial for you to best shoot content if you have a detailed content calendar. And that is actually doable. The third one, I'm going to go a little bit quick with this video um, because there's not much to really speak about. Write your ideas down. That's going to help you a lot. Do not trust your memory. I repeat, do not trust your memory because sometimes we forget really, really good ideas. Even if you're not going to maybe do that content piece immediately, you can still write it down and then schedule it for a different time. What I've seen though is that sometimes I do have the type of content and the content that I want to create, but then I think of an idea and I want to create it immediately. No, some ideas can really be created right now, but there's other ideas that need a little bit more ideation and a little bit more conceptualization for them to just be great video pieces. It's not every idea that you need to be impulsive with. Some of those ideas, write them down, give yourself a bit of time to think about them to bounce them off the friends or people that you trust that are creatively inclined or something like that and then give it time to build and to kind of grow into the very idea that you'd like it to be but you don't have to be impulsive all the time I think that's the other thing that I maybe want to talk to you about impulsivity is really not good sometimes because you don't give yourself enough time to build on but i'm also not saying don't sit on idea because what i do sometimes is like i want to think about an idea for a very long time and i end up not doing it so you just need to have that balance of i give myself enough time to plan to ideate but then it has to go out by a certain time 
work with deadlines work with deadlines have a deadline for yourself so that you know that you don't maybe drop the ball and think that this is one thing that i am going to start implementing myself if i say that by friday this video has to be out that's that and then the last one would be this is what i believe also the lord kind of laid in my heart as well but i've seen like other people also doing it but for me i was like okay god like what can i do creating content in series and that is exactly what i'm doing right now for the first week of the thousand dollars challenge is to create content that is more related to content creation the type of equipment that you can get which is the next video that's going to come out you know just content related videos and then next week i'll be dealing with a different topic so i'm just teaching myself to release content in series because then that'll help me also in terms of budget in case i need to invest in certain things it gives me a better outlook on how much i would need for maybe projects or videos that i'd have to produce in maybe the next month or something so creating content in series kind of helps you it also helps in letting your community just be a part of a certain journey it also helps you to kind of concentrate on a certain topic and not really feel like you are kind of stretching yourself thin and i think this is what i would like to talk to you guys about i hope that this was very helpful for you should there be any questions or anything that you would like to know let me know down below your engagement is highly highly appreciated um if you are a content creator yourself maybe do join this challenge to see how your own channel may grow other than that i'll see you guys in the next video be on the lookout for that one god loves you and i appreciate you guys so much bye